to come again, just take it over. I mean, or just like you to tell us your name, maybe where you're coming from. Yeah. My name is Wong Solai Shinyabi. I'm coming from uh, BCBA. This is my second time of attending this prayer. The first day I came here was on Saturday on counseling. Papa gave me instruction and then I shared the burden that I was having. He gave me instruction. He ordered me to bring four apples because I have a problem with fruit of the womb. I brought the four apples. So when he was praying, he told me how I'm supposed to take the apple. I was supposed to take them one, one, a, one a day. So the last day, as I was praying, I was saying, Father, you said that when we, whatever we ask in your name, it shall be given. Father, speak to me through this apple. Whether you will give me a vision, oh Father, speak to me through this apple. That if truly this man of God have the have the solution to my problem. So I was as I was praying every day, I was eating the apple on uh breaking saturday the, that was the last day that i was supposed to eat the last apple i eat the last apple because when i was sick when i was in short when i was still single i was not yet born again in my dream nothing can like when i have attack i always defeat the devil but instead when i become a born again it is always hard for me to defeat uh, to defeat a devil in my dream but that that particular day i have i have a vision i cannot say a dream because the bible says young people shall see but vision i have a vision mm. in that vision and the power that was in me until i cannot just narrate it because it's too long let me just go directly to the one that moved my faith i, I had i i came in i come across a, an old woman that old woman like that the old woman wanted to kill uh, uh, a mother that I put to birth twins. I, I was passing, I said, but man, the old woman was in the form of agri fowl. As I passed, the spirit said, that fowl like that is not, it's not a normal fowl. I should go back and, and speak words from that fowl. I went behind, I said, who are you? Manifest and speak. The old woman now turned into a very beautiful girl and then turned back to an old woman. I prayed and prayed and then the old woman now burned to ashes. And the old woman burned to ashes and then get up. I started fighting me. I was, that means I prayed until I was weak in the spirit. As I was weak in the spirit now, then the spirit said I should use anointed sword since I have anointed sword. I should, see in that dream oh, that I should use anointed sword. So... I took that anointed sword, I poured it all over my body. The arrow that the old woman was releasing, it was coming and bouncing, but bouncing. Until I say you, I say I, I say I weaken your power. I weaken your power. Tell me who you are. The old woman, the old woman now said, I was not here for you. Although I have already, although I am due, I am done with you. I said, done with me in which way? He, he, she looked at me and laughed. I said, I have swallowed all your children. I have swallowed your children and I have made you barren. I say, you have swallowed my children and you have made me barren. I say, now you will vomit the children. She said, no way. And then I went close to her. I hold her like this and they opened their mouth. That's how I was only speaking, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. She was struggling. There was no way. And then I was feeling pains in my waist. It was like, I should, I said, no. Either this, woman, either this woman should liberate me or we die together. I opened that mouth. I was only shouting blood of Jesus until the old woman said, let me go. I, I said, you must release those children before you go. And then the old woman for me, him, she, she made one. And then she said one, child number one. And then two, three, four. And then she said, I have released your children. And she made like that. And then I brush like this. Original 
God do original things. Original God give original revelation. Original God give original testimony. Original God calling. 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 Original God Original God In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 God bless you, sister. Can you keep standing for a while? You see, after you left the prayer cell the first day, you attended, attended what, last week was your first day of attending this prayer meeting. Exactly. Amen. Amen. You see, you went back home. You asked God, you told God that if this is the man that holds your solution to your problem, oh, yeah. let God reveal it to you. Mm -hmm. And that fateful night, you had this revelation. It was the last day that I was supposed to eat the apple. And before. eat the apple. Yes. You had this revelation. Yes. You said before. Amen. Amen. You used to have your revelation and they would defeat you. Yes. But after you attended this prayer, say you went. Yes. You had victory in your Amen. in your in yes. your, in exactly. your revelation. Exactly. You had victory. Yes. Amen. Amen. I want to ask you this question. The man of God asked you to bring how many apples? Three. Four apples. He asked you to bring four apples. Exactly. Amen. Amen. So he, you brought that four apples here at the prayer ground. Yes. The man of God joined his faith with your own faith. Oh yeah. Pray for the apple and say if fruits can produce. If the fruits like that, they can produce the fruit of their own kind. Yes. Let God use this as a medium for you to go and bring forth the fruits of your own kind. Exactly. So when you went back home, you had a revelation. You said in this revelation, you saw this old woman. Amen. Amen. After seeing this one old woman, this woman said he has there with you already. Yes. That he, she's not be there for you, yes. but you, he, she has finished with you already. Exactly. Means she has already there with you, there with your children. Yes. Okay, you were curious, you were inquisitive. You said, how have you finished with me? Say, I've taken away your children. So he said, well, you went ahead the neck of that woman like that. Yes. The woman vomited the first child. Yes. Second, I and I opened the mouth. Of opened the mouth. The blood of the Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Yes. Yes. You were releasing the blood of Jesus. Yes. You kept releasing the blood of Jesus. Yes. And the woman and, and the woman who started vomiting out the children yes. that she had been holding in the yes. of the spirit. Yes. And you vomited four. Yes. And in the physical year, yes. our man of God asked you to bring four apples. Exactly. Prophetic. Somebody say prophetic. Prophetic. Somebody say prophetic. Prophetic. Today will be somebody turned in the Amen. name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 The really faith ones in the house, they are not surprised with a move like this. Because we know the God that we are saving. Yes. yes. And we know the man of God. We know the God that God is using. We know what God is using to do through the man of God. Amen. Amen. We are not surprised. It's for people like you that will come. Amen. And I like your faith because she said she went and prayed a kind of prayer. That God, if this is a man that home has a solution, reveal it to me. That's the kind of prayer a prayer should a Christian should pray. You don't just go to a prayer ground and you are just relaxed like that. Because like we say, the world is perverse. A lot of things are happening. You need to go with the spirit of discernment. So she came with our own discernment. Amen. She Amen. has seen a lot of signs. The man of God spoke a lot of things in your life. Exactly. Is that right? Yes, exactly. Amen. A lot of prophetic words yes. of which you attain them to be true, yes. to be 100% correct. Yes. correct. Amen. Amen. And upon all the uh, word of knowledge, the prophecy given to you by the servant of God, it was you were not still sure with it. You still had that uh, doubt in your heart. And you had your own secret, secret prayer that you made with God. Yes. That indeed, if it's, if it's your son, Reveal it to me in my own way that I will understand. Oh, yes. And God actually revealed yeah. everything to you. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. And today you are testifying for the glory of God. Amen. 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 The battle has been won already in the realm of the spirit. Amen. We are waiting for the testimony Amen. in the physical. Amen. 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 We are waiting for it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Somebody celebrate Master Jesus. <laughs> celebrate God in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Uh -huh. That was a powerful one. It really triggered our faith. I would just like you to encourage one or two listening to you this hour. Children of God, women of God, the only thing I would like to say is that we should be patient enough in the presence of God because God have, t God have a time that he will deliver you because when I was studying the Bible, I discover in the, I discover as God used uh, the foolishness of Jacob uh, of Joseph's brother to lift Joseph up. So when I was seeing that burden, even when I did not know the man of God, when I came across that 
uh, uh, page. I will cry and say, Father, if you make Joseph to suffer like this, me, why you wanted to uplift him? That means my deliverance is to a reason. Mm -hmm. And then I keep on saying to myself that, Father, I know that you are bringing forth prophets in my life. Mm -hmm. When I want to share, it's just like I should. But I pray. Yes, yes, but, yes, but I say you should stand firm in the presence of God and never give up because there are times I will pray like that. The devil will keep on whispering in my ears that what are you really praying? Every day you are praying, God is not answering you. Then what are you really praying? But I know that this is the time for my God to arise and lift me up. And it and it will be the same God that will arise in your own matter in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 In conclusion, what our sister is saying is that we should have faith in God that it may tarry it may tarry, tarry, and tarry, but it will surely come to pass in the name of Jesus. Amen. Sister, please, I want to ask you, just stand again for a moment. For how long have you been going through this challenge? Three years. For three good years. Means for three years after marriage, nothing to show, Amen. no issue. The enemy has been dealing, dealing with you for three good years. Amen. 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 You will come back with your testimony. Amen. 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 After coming in contact with Prophet Anya Wes Sebastian, I'm telling you, the God of this commission will reveal himself to you Amen. more and more. Amen. You will come back here with your baby for testimony. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Our God is faithful. Yes. Our God is faithful. He is faithful. Amen. 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 Any other testifier for the glory of God? I know your sister is not here. She would have shared, shared another testimony. Sister Clo. Who are those who witnessed our deliverance last uh, last week? Amen. It was a powerful deliverance, right? Mm -hmm. That's somebody that her wedding is coming up already. She came and discussed with me that her wedding is coming up, but she does not know a lot of things is happening. Thank God for, for that blessed day that she came when Daddy had visited my business place. And there's this my neighbor that had been complaining for a very long time that there are a lot of things that are happening, a lot of happenings in her life that she cannot explain. So fortunately for her, as she was just talking like that, not long, the man of God came as, uh, and I was pleading with him. If she could just have a word with that friend, she gave a, he gave a rendezvous for the next day. And thank God the next day, the man of God visited my place. And the lady was just there. I said, okay, this is another opportunity. I'll just like you to talk with the man of God. God be so kind, God used our daddy in the house here, in the life of that sister in a marvelous way. That sister left my place crying. In fact, I was just holding and comforting her. Right at my business place there, it was not easy, it was a powerful encounter. So when did my, why this, uh, my friend visited me, she saw them talking in my place. She started explaining her own challenges. I told her that, she said, so your, man, your husband is a, a, a man of God and you have not linked me to her. I said, it is well. It's never too late. This is the appointed time for you to meet her. Amen. Amen. So after that, this is the appointed uh, time for you to meet the, the man of God. Amen. Amen. So after that, she insisted on meeting the man of God. And finally, she had to come along with the friend. That's the friend there that we are all seeing today. Amen. So she told me that her wedding is coming up. But for those who witnessed her deliverance last week, if you hear the demon was talking, he said she will not get married. She will not get married. Amen. Amen. I don't know for how long these people they have been programming their marriage and the devil has been playing a fast one on it. Amen. Amen. But I thank God for that last week that she was she attended this prayer. Amen. And had a deliverance. I know that that marriage will successfully go through this time around in Jesus' name. Amen. We all heard her. She said the demon in her was saying, she said, I'm Lucifer. And she will not get married. Amen. Amen. She will not get married. But despite everything, at the end of the day, she had her deliverance in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And we are trusting God that anytime soon, our sister will be getting married. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 God bless us all. Amen. Sister, God bless you. Amen. Amen. Can you just stand on your feet for one minute? You started this prayer session with us. Um, since the day you started visiting this prayer house, the man of God has been giving you a word of knowledge. He said something like, uh, there is a, a stream behind your house. How can you attest to that? A stream inside your house where they carry ground and so many things. 
Yes, like what the man of God was saying last time concerning the stream. Mm -hmm. It's true. It's true. Yes, but all this why I've been praying against it. Amen. 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 And the man of God also said something last week concerning I mentioned the name Limbe yes, and but some of your relatives in Limbe that are giving wrong information to your husband. Yes, that my brothers in law are in Limbe. Her brothers in law are in Limbe. Yeah, they have been giving my husband wrong information about me. And about all, you. This, all this while they have been having You have been some having this problem. understanding yes. with your husband. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. So after this, you will testify more. You enjoy marriage again in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Celebrate Jesus so much. Thank you. Thank you, Father. We want to thank you for this hour. We thank you for your presence in our midst. We thank you for the life of the testifier. We thank you for their testimony. We pray let that testimony become sealed with the blood of Jesus. Blood and of let Jesus. the enemy have no power over the testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for those who are listening, connect and cue to their testimony. Father, whatever they are trusting and believing you for, may they be the next to come and testify for your glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. 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 I would like us to stand on our feet as we welcome the sound of God on the platform. Make a platform. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, I want to give you glory. We thank you because you are a faithful God. Thank you, King of Kings, for your presence here. Thank you, Lord, for the testimonies. Thank you for the manifestation. Thank you for setting the children free. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you for defeating the kingdom of darkness. Yes. Thank you, King of Kings, for putting testimony in our mouth. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your presence here. Lord, I begin to pray. I bind every opposing force that has come here, King of Kings, for any destruction. Yes, I Lord. bind you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray and I come against every doubtful spirit in your heart. I break it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I begin to pray. Let your word have its way. In the heart of your people. Let them accept it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, let this word manifest in their life positively. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Amen. Let's be seated in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. There are some prayers you will do. And you will see God show you some things in the realm of the spirit. Mm -hmm. And when God show you some of those things, you start seeing them manifesting in your life. Amen. You see, you see how the battle has been won. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to keep inviting people. We keep inviting and inviting. Where is Sister Claudette? She, she went to the front. She went and passed by. She was not around. She was there. It's just that she was doing one or two things. So okay. She, she would be coming. Okay. Amen. Amen. Keep inviting people, inviting people. Hallelujah. Amen. The kingdom of darkness is not sleeping. They don't sleep. They are walking tirelessly. Spirit don't sleep. They don't rest. We are the one who go to bed and rest. We rest, but they don't rest. So we have to keep praying more and more in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are going to be very brief. Next week, we are going to have prophetic and deliverance deliverance service next week. Today, we are going to hear the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. That word of God, we are talking about what? Prayers. 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 Don't relent your effort in what? In praying. Don't relent your effort in praying. Pray like never before. Because the wicked will not rest That's to right. do what they're supposed to do. Yes. You two should not rest in what? Praying. You pray. When you pray like this, things change. You want to face any situation, you will face it. When Jesus stands, they speak. They say, where somebody will speak. I look at this man and say, the way the man is speaking, that man does not have a car. He's not rich. There's nothing. But you see the boldness, the way you will speak. You say, this man, it's like they, they, they man have no clue. Who have seen that before? Yes. Who have seen that before? You see, when somebody is speaking, he's speaking, he says, I will do you. So you don't even know you have touched me. I will show you, baby. I will do you. But you look at him, he does not have a car. He does not have anything. He's just, but he's bold. And you ask, but what does the man have that has to do with me? It is because of what? This man is because he has confidence in what he's doing behind. You as a child of God, you are supposed to have that kind of courage and boldness. <laughs> a man cannot come to you and threaten you. He said you will not get married. You will see. 
A Oma will not come and take your picture and do some kind of thing and say, I will show you, Pepe. And if you use lie, you are sleeping. As a child of God, you don't pray. What did that man use? What did that woman use? Is the mouth. That woman used the what mouth? Don't you have mouth? You have mouth. A man said, I will kill you. I will do this. You will see what will happen. And so on. Tell a man, I will show you more than what you want to show me. Mm. Yes. You go back in the closet, lock your door, face it with God. He said, Father, this man has opened the mouth. Let that mouth close. God will close that mouth. Amen. Because if you don't pray, things will go wrong. Things are going wrong already because we don't pray. But when we enter into prayer, we cook ourselves inside prayer, not any kind of prayer. There are prayers that you pray, you don't have results. There are some that you pray, you see results. Yes. You ask God for a way out. How do I handle this kind of situation? Today I'm going to the market. I saw this. There was one woman that used to come for the prayer program. That woman, the Lord revealed what was kept in her marketplace. She started realizing that her business was not doing well. Things were going down. And the Lord revealed a particular pan that they have put there and put some charms inside. When she came, God revealed that particular thing. He said, this that pan is in my place. So I said, they say, there's something that they made inside there. So you have to cook yourself in what? In prayer. If you don't pray, things will go wrong. Destiny will, dis will be destroyed. A lot of things will go wrong because of what? Lack of what? Prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. But when you are a prayerful person, the devil will have to retrace his steps to touch any of your properties, yeah. any of your things in life. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. There was one lady. Okay, there was a process program that we were there. You know, in a prayer place, people come to see if actually what they are saying is true. If actually what they are saying is what is true. One guy was always coming. The first time he comes, he sits behind. And he's throwing slants. He will sit and say, hmm, I want to see what will happen here today. That's what the guy was always coming and saying. He comes the first day, he sits behind, he's talking. I'm preaching there at the pulpit in the crusade program. He's behind making noise and he's talking. He's talking. He's talking. He said, I want to see if this God is real or not. The first day, second day, third day, I asked God, I said, Father, you have to prove to this man that is standing here that when they call your name, things happen. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Lord dropped a prophetic word in my spirit and spoke to me. Get me a prophetic word for this man. What was done in this man's life when he was a certain age? And let's go and talk to him. After he received that word, he stood in the crowd. They said, what happened? He said, it is true. Everything. Then he came to believe. There's, there's a time you go so deep into the things of God, the word of God, God starts exiting things about your environment. Hallelujah. Amen. About your, even prayers, when you cook yourself in prayer, God open your eyes when you are praying. Amen. Amen. God open your eyes when you are what? Praying. Amen. But if you don't pray, things will go wrong. Hallelujah. Amen. There was one lady, that lady is not in the country now. She sent me a picture and while I was going through that picture, the Lord spoke to me about an altar in her father's house, somewhere in Bamboo. And that lady asked, he said, man of God, what will it take? What will it take for us to remove this altar? Amen. Amen. And in my very first time of hearing that kind of a thing, because in my own theology, what the Lord brought me up with is that you go and pray. Hallelujah. Amen. When you are going there, they will do what? The family will come together, they will give you a transport, and you are going, you go with some people. Hallelujah. Amen. With your crew to the place. And after that, the people will make thanksgiving. Now, this lady was asking me, how, how are they going to do it? I asked her, what do you, what do you mean by that? We definitely mean that she was asking if something like candle, if something like song, if something like symbols, something like black cloth, and so on. Why was she asking all of those things? Because the people that she was exposed to in life, the kind of things that she was exposed to, they, they were telling her that in order for you to pray for family deliverance or to break altars, you must bring egg, you must bring bango, you must bring these they have oh, items. So Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost, Ghost fire. fire. You must bring items. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And let me bring small cup and the man will go with the Bible. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. To go and pray and break that particular altar. He will go with the Bible, but there he will have small cup, he will have egg, he will have red cloth, he will have blue cloth, he will have this, and they will charge you money, you go and pay. So she was asking me if, if I also have a list 
Amen. Amen. If I have a list that I will give so that they can provide all of those things. I, and I was, I was on the phone. I say, God, this kind of items they want to produce to, to destroy this other one. I don't know which one is which. <laughs> Why? Because she has been, she has been, she has been, she has been in places where people who carry the same Bible, hallelujah, Amen. they want to go and do such a thing, they ask you for this list of what item. What will it take to break altar in my father's house? What will it take to destroy altars in my father's house? What I know biblically is that you might give your man of God transport. Amen. Amen. And then you package a seat for him. Are you what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. You package it, you give. It's enough. Hallelujah. Amen. And then they go there, God will do what he's doing. It is not bringing egg or fowl or fowl of egg. It is not like bringing candle. It is not like bringing any of these charms because they want to go and do it. So I told her, I said, no. I don't know what you're saying. When you are leaving Yaoundé as you are coming, come with very big anointed oil. Big one. When you come, we'll pray for it. And then package the transport and your thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Amen. So when she came, we entered into that compound. There were people that they invited that they came, they came with the spirit of doubt. They never knew what prayers can do. Amen. Amen. When we were praying, the Lord showed a place that grasses. I will show you the video anytime when you are, are subscribed to our YouTube channel. Grass, grass have never grown in that place where they were doing that thing, that altar. It's just like that. To, for grass to grow, it just do like this. Many years. And that thing killed her mother. And then we started praying. We prayed and prayed, anointed the place, and that altar, God destroyed that altar. Hallelujah. Amen. As that altar was destroyed, breakthrough came into the family members. Today, she's not in the country. She has traveled. That's somebody who tried to travel for more than five years, but it did not go. But today, I say she is not. God brought light into the family. Hallelujah. Amen. It is because of what? Prayers. Amen. Amen. It's because of what? Prayers. If you don't pray, how can those things go? There are altars, there are things that are calling your name, they are that, and so on and so forth. Altars of sin, all kinds of things that are taking place. But when you don't pray, it will continue to do what? To speak. Amen. Amen. Let's be on our feet. The Bible says in First King, in First King chapter 18, verse 44, right up to 46. Elijah met Ahab and said, Ahab, I am that prophet you have been looking for. I am that person you have been looking for. I heard you are looking for me. I'm not running away. And I heard you have kept 150 prophets. You will go and bring down your prophets and also understand. Just that we hear the word of God today. Elijah had prayed and prayed. Rain ceased to fall because of prayer. Ceased. It will not fall. But when God wanted to release rain, he said, look. Elijah said, okay, let me tell you, I have to leave now because rain will fall. He took him out. He said, I will leave this place because rain is about to fall. He said, rain is about to fall. He told the servant, he said, look, servant, go and check again on the east wind. He prayed. He put his knees on the ground and prayed. He said, go and check on the east. The servant went and checked on the east. He said, I am seeing something like a cloud. He said, go and check well again. He went to the sea and checked. He said, the way I am seeing a cloud is like a hand of man. Because he was praying. Why he was praying for rain to fall? He spoke to the servant. He said, go and check if rain is coming. Because he knew that only prayer can bring results. Yeah. He said, only, only prayer can do what? Bring yeah. results. So he knelt down. He said, go and check. He went the first time and checked. He said, I see clouds. He went the second time, he said, it's not too clear. He said, go and check again. The servant went the next time. It was no longer the normal cloud we used to know. It was now a hand, a cloud that has, who has ever looked up like this and see some kind of shape that cloud are designing? Hallelujah. Amen. You have seen it before? Amen. Have you seen that there are clouds that look like human beings? Yes. When you look up. Yes. But this one was on top of the sea. A hand appeared there. And Elijah came back, the, the servant came and told Elijah, I have seen this one in his hand. Elijah knew that this must be God, that God has come and rain has come. Amen. He said, let us run. Because if you don't run, rain will meet you. Oh, yeah. That God is about to answer prayer. Let me tell you something. For that prayer to be answered, first thing that God did, Elijah was able to see what? To see vision. Hallelujah. Amen. He was able to see vision. 
He was able to do what? To have an encounter with God. For something great to happen in your life through prayer is that you must what? See vision. There must be vision in your prayer. You don't pray a blind prayer. You don't just pray and throw prayers anyhow. You pray with a target. You say, Lord, this is my purpose. I have come here because I want to travel. I have come here because I need a change of mind. I have come here because of the worst your prayer is targeted to have results. Amen. So he saw vision. When you don't see vision in whatever you do, some of us say we must have vision in our life. Yes. Vision in this year, what you are about to accomplish, you must have it. Oh, yeah. You must have a vision. Five years time, this is what I want to be. Two years time, three months time, this is what you write that vision. You say, my vision is to win souls. My vision, next time when I'm coming, my vision is to do evangelism. I will bring people here. My vision is that anywhere I am going, I will win souls for God. My vision is that this year I must settle down. My vision, you must have that vision. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. You must have that vision. And your vision must have goal. If your vision does not have goal, you will be good. Amen. You must have what? Goal. Without goal, you have what? Good. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to be a good in life. My God. Nobody wants to see yourself. You need to have to be good. You must have what? Vision. Put your hand on your head. We want to pray. And we are calling God. If, if the man of God could pray like that and God release rain. If he could pray like that, do you know that he took only the finger of God for God to destroy Egypt with plague? Mm -hmm. Just one finger. Imagine that if it was the whole hand, Egypt wouldn't have succeeded. My God. The lamb of Egypt wouldn't have succeeded the wrath of God My because God. they saw the only finger. But now you are praying, you are asking God's hand that let God's hand move. Let him move in the form of crowd. Oh, yes. Let him move in any manner. Oh, yes. Present himself anywhere. Oh, yes. Destroy every altar that are fighting you, fighting your life. Begin to pray. You want to see the hand of God to appear in your life. You want to see the hand of God. You need a hand. 